It's surfing by the flip of a switch. And it's happening across the globe from Peru to Sweden, thanks to American wave machines. So our vision was to take that and, and bring it into a resort, water park, hotel, a surf park, whatever the venue um, was to bring that in so that you can now surf anywhere in the world and not just and at the coast. Time. Bruce is an engineer by trade and a surfer for fun. But in 2000, he got a glimpse of a video that would combine his two passions, sparking the idea for American Wave Machines. A guy showed me a video of kids surfing at Waimea mm -hmm. River Mouth in Hawaii. Uh -huh. And that's, that happens when they, the, uh, a little sand dam breaks and it builds these waves in the sand that are standing waves. Okay, it's, yeah. not, it's not traveling like a wave in the ocean towards the beach. So you have a lot of time to ride and it's fairly predictable. So you get to practice a lot more on mm -hmm. a given wave. If we can recreate that natural phenomena in a machine with technology, that, that would be a great attraction. So that was 2000 and that you saw that and thought, okay, mm -hmm. that's really interesting. Well, first thing was pure research and development mm -hmm. in models, not like this, not all shiny and neat, but bent metal and tape and magnets and <laughs> because we had no idea what the shapes were or what the water flow had to be. Bruce got a patent, produced a sample right at home. I started all this in the backyard and I, I set it up I outside. Love backyard stories. Yeah. And figured he'd show up at a trade show for a water park amusement industry. We went to the trade show with our video, which is still just a prototype, um, in a tiny little booth and the um, CEO of Sandal showed up and he looked at it, he watched the video, he talked to us for about 15 minutes and he says, yes, this is what I want for my resorts. Goes to show, just one yes can put a company on the map. Since their first deal in 2006, American Wave Machines has installed waves throughout Asia, North America, the Caribbean and beyond. And it all starts with just four employees in an 800 square foot office. We do all the scale modeling here, all the R&D, mm -hmm. all of the design, all the engineering, um, all of the business management, and we put together the whole design and equipment package out of this office that gets manufactured in other places. So how do a couple of engineers get a one or two million dollar wave installed halfway across the globe? It starts by asking the customer questions. Are you a water park, are you a resort, or are you a surf park? Most. So everything's customizable. Yeah, we have a lot of molded parts. So we have basic pieces that we can put together in different ways. And you just drop them into each model. Yeah. Basically, Once a client so gives the thumbs plan. up on a project, materials are ordered and precisely like tracked. We take this and our drawings and put all this information into a bill of materials program so that we know at each installation exactly what part is in every location. And we can go back at any time in the future, we can always go back and say what part was that used, what waves are they making, what nuts and bolts, everything. American Wave Machines buys the waves pumps from Sweden, fiberglass from California, and everything else from anywhere in the world, depending on price and quality. We had a lot of stuff made in New Jersey mm -hmm. uh, at very good prices, and then uh, we built one in Taiwan, and they said, well, let's make our stainless over here because we can do it for less. And it was about 50% more wow. than we could do it for in the States. Hmm. So we don't automatically assume that foreign manufacturer is any less expensive. And we do Good like to control to the quality and we do use local manufacturing as much as possible. Materials for a wave arrive on site and one or two team members from American Wave Machines oversees the installation, which takes, get this, just two to three weeks. That's because, besides the pumps for the waves, you don't need cranes and lifts to put one of these together. Two guys can handle it, set it in place, fit it, ah. and bolt it together. Because I picture, on the first one, I picture I'm going to be the one out there doing it. <laughs> You're gonna, so, I'm building it. <laughs> I don't want to be, you know, stuck under yeah. a 500-pound piece of fiberglass by yeah. myself. So. Yeah. And that's worked out, and it's helped us make it modular also, so uh -huh. fitting in different widths and sizes. Although American Wave Machines installs waves around the world, for entertainment purposes, the company is getting attention for the wave's energy and scientific applications. We're getting calls from now universities for scientific wave machinery. Hmm, and so they can study waves. Yes. Whether for fun or science, Bruce thinks the adoption of standing waves and surf parks could make the estimated $3 billion surf industry even larger with some work. 
But if you look at uh, skateboarding, escape venues, which struggled in the 80s with uh, the business model, if that can be done for the surf market, you would see potentially hundreds or thousands of parks. It's a whole new market. And so I don't see any reason why um, there wouldn't be someday as many surf parks as skate parks. What's next for American Wave Machines? Next thing, honestly, I haven't had time to think about it, which is probably, <laughs> I think fine. everybody's it's happy fine. about that because... Too um, many projects get too yeah. much. But one thing is certain. Creating the venues creates business and culture around it. Yeah, it's really importing the yes, surf culture. It people. is. And uh, internationally, we're seeing that. We're seeing uh, China really wants to advance surfing within their country. And they realize that it's going to have to be in facilities, and uh, they want you it. So, it. So, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go. So if China wants a wave, they got to call you. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, they did. Mm -hmm.